NFL players taking a knee during the national anthem has sparked a national debate, and President Trump is right in the middle of that debate. I'm Josh Rowe. I'm Stephanie Sanastasi. On Sunday and Monday night, more than 200 NFL players, coaches, and owners took a knee during the national anthem. News Channel 9's Allison Levine spoke to Chattanoogans on both sides of the issue about what the protests mean to them. Allison. Josh Stephanie, this all started last season when former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick sat during the national anthem. Now Kaepernick says he did it to bring awareness to police brutality. And on Friday, President Trump responded while at a rally in Alabama. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say, get that son of a off the field right now, out, he's fired. Those comments fired up Trump's base and re-energized the Take a Knee movement. And now representatives on all sides are weighing in. For the land of the free. On Sunday afternoon, fans watched as their favorite players sat, knelt, or locked arms during the Star Spangled Banner. And America was built off things like this. Chattanooga activist Jonathan Hubbard cheered the demonstrations. Kneeling peacefully protesting, that's American. I believe firmly in standing for the national anthem and being respectful to the flag in this country. Buddy Nix is the former general manager of the Buffalo Bills. He also coached at UTC. He says politics and football don't play well together. But when you watch football, you really should be going to enjoy the game, pull for your team, and have a relaxing Sunday afternoon. While he watches every Sunday from his home office. I watch the Bills on one TV and then I watch six other games. Nick sees things from the view of the front office. The fans quit going, the sponsors pull their sponsorships out. These guys will stand for the national anthem. President Donald Trump voicing a similar sentiment earlier today. The NFL has to change or you know what's going to happen? Their business is going to go to hell. Jonathan Hubbard sees things a little differently. Everybody thinks this is a, a protest against the flag and, and things like that, and that's not true. Today, Hubbard fights for equality. He's also fought for his country. Now I want to protect my nation and uphold it in a different way. As a veteran, Hubbard doesn't see disrespect. He sees hope. That's American. That's, that's our values. You know, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. Is, that's the pursuit of happiness. That's the pursuit of equality. Buddy Nick says he expects these protests to pass. Jonathan Hubbard says he hopes that the NFL translates them or translates this momentum into community activism. Steph? Allie, thank you.